Happy Monday, my people. I hope everybody is doing really, really well. I myself have just been dragging all over the freaking place, but it's going to get better. I'm claiming it. I'm not going to dwell in it. We're just going to keep it moving. So you guys, if you've been sending me messages because I've been getting like 15, 20 messages, um, be patient because my reading schedule has been full. My massage, my schedule with the massages has been really full. I'm trying to get in between and answer, um, questions and stuff where I can, where I feel led. So if you're sending me any messages for any help, I will get to you if I can get to you. If not, please definitely utilize other readers or people that you can get into. I know it's not easy. A lot of people are going through a hard time right now. I wake up in the morning with crying faces all over my messages. So I know a lot of people are having really, really difficult times. There's so many people out here that are trying to help. If you're really going through a difficult time and you're depressed and there's anxiety, please look into healthcare professionals to help you with that. Sometimes you don't need a tarot reader or a psychic. You need something a little bit more. So if you're really going through a hard time emotionally and mentally, please look into other avenues, okay? Because everybody's crying and you got me crying with you. I want you all to be good, be healthy, be safe. So let's see. Let's get into the card pool. We're going to go ahead and say six cards. I always get scared because I'm like, okay, they might have me reading 15 cards one day. So spirit, for my people, any messages? Uh, hold up. All oh, that whole thing flipped. But we're going to take that first one that came out. All right, spirit. Five more cards, please. Five more cards for my people. Alrighty. Thank you. Did we have another one that came out? Let's see. Alright. Okay, they didn't flip. Three more cards, Spirit. Thank you. Two more. Thank you. One more. If it is to be. One more card, please. Maybe they want to do five this time. I think they'd be playing with me. You gonna give me an extra card, Spirit, or are we just doing five? Hold up. Thank you, because I sure was about to give it up on it, too. Okay, so we have six cards. You can pick a number one through six. You can pick one card. You can pick multiple cards. You can pick the whole spread. The whole thing may apply. So just go with your intuition as Spirit with the messages for you and whatever they tell you. That's what you, you go with, okay? Card number one, new job, new opportunity coming in. This is a freaking great card. If you've been looking for work, if you put your resume, your applications out there, this is showing that you should be hearing good news within this month. Well, actually moving into August, we're already with the last few days of July. So if you've been putting in your work stuff, your applications, your resume within the next two months, you should hear positive news about a job. Check your text messages, check your emails, check your spam folders to make sure you don't miss anything. For some of you, definitely this is an opportunity that I feel is going to open up the doors to some type of travel because I'm getting somebody on a plane. So this could be a job that has travel involved in it or either going to other states or possibly even going to other countries for work. So for some of you, definitely this is going to be something maybe a little bit different than what you normally do that involves you having to maybe move around or to explore other environments around you. I feel like it's going to be a positive thing for a lot of you because it's going to open up your creativity. It's going to open up your money. Um, there's so many things that are about to pop up for you guys that are going to maybe be a little bit different than what you're expecting. I'm sorry, y'all already getting some crying messages coming through, but it is showing that it opens up doors to meet like-minded people with the card number two, the spiritual journey card right next to it. I feel like for some of you, this could even be spirit guided. This could be some type of working within a spiritual organization or, um, I keep getting kids. 
maybe some type of charity or something that has to involve children, working with children, teaching children. I feel like there's a lot of either consultations or sharing knowledge with people, but a lot of it does have to do with your creativity and your spirituality too. So for some of you, this is going to be a combination. If you're growing spiritually, you may get offered an opportunity to work within an organization that is going to open up more doors where you not only make money, but also there's a lot of spiritual growth. Okay, card number two. When I read it with card number one, like I said, this could actually be getting some job where you're working for a church, you're working for an organization, you're working for um, some type of charity that helps you grow spiritually, but you do make some money from it. Also, too, for some of you, card number two is about going on a particular spiritual journey. For some of you, you could be starting something new. Maybe you were a Christian for 30 years and you're exploring different things now. Maybe you were involved in some type of uh, religion or spiritual practice that you either want to dwell a little bit deeper into or you're actually starting to explore things outside of that. For some of you, this is an awakening. This is really, really opening yourselves up to something that is going to make you look at things differently. Um, and it's a good thing because I feel like this is something that is definitely uh, something that has been a long time coming for a few of you. Now, this could be initiations too, because I feel like some of you are going to definitely be spending money. You're putting money into it. Could be going on a retreat where there's some spiritual growth could be going on an initiation where there's spiritual growth but whatever it is it looks like this is a very um life transforming experience for you and there's going to be major major things that you're going to see that are going to just really just i feel like blow your mind open your heart up I feel like for some of you, you're going to be a completely different person next year. You might be like me. You start might start wrapping your head up, you know, you know, burning candles, chanting, meditating more. But whatever it is, it really opens you up in a really positive way. And congratulations. Be open to the experience. Some of you are definitely scared. I feel it. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm leaving my job for two months and I'm going on this. I'm going on a vision quest. I'm going to be camping outdoors. The whole thing about it is open up to the experience. Enjoy it. Take it for what it is. Sometimes we go through things that are a little bit challenging at first, but they open us up to something that is so much more, something that is so much more beautiful. My initiation did that for me, um, and it wasn't easy, but it was probably one of the best things that I did. So be open to the experience, okay? Ooh, card number three, new love, new love. Now, here's the thing. Before, when I pulled this job opportunity card, I really got a visual of somebody falling in love with somebody in the workplace. Um, if you read all these cards together, this could be falling in love with a spiritual person in the workplace where you're like-minded. So for some of you, you may be connecting with a spiritual mentor or a spiritual boss that you go out and have coffee and you talk about aliens or you talk about, you know, uh, spiritual growth, uh, different religions, whatever it is, there's a connection that you have with this person. And this person may be the one to even open the door to the spiritual journey for you. So for some of you, this connection is really going to be meeting somebody that is really like-minded. And you could be meeting this person through the job where maybe you are going into an organization and there's like-minded people and you really connect with somebody. For some people, this is just basically you finding somebody in a bar. You know, I get, I get somebody leaning against the bar. She's been dancing. Somebody comes, they talk. The guy is cute. This is this is a love connection. This is maybe love at first sight for some people. So card number three, for some of you who have been looking for love, it looks like you're going to meet somebody that really catches your eye. Um, it looks like it's going to be a mutual thing too. And it could happen with an intensity that maybe scares you because it may, be, it may feel like it's moving too quick or too fast. I feel like there could be even a past life connection with this person where... You just meet and it's like the conversation flows, you know, you're just comfortable with the person. So all, all across the, 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 the board with this, I just feel like a lot of good vibes that are coming in where people are like, okay, I'm really feeling this person, you know, and, and you're getting that same energy back. Now take your time because like I said, I feel like this comes in quick for a lot of you. For some of you, I definitely feel like 
even though it says new love, I feel like with retrograde coming up, you may have some exes that come back from the past that have done some work. Some of them, some of them, they, they need to stay in the past, but I feel like for some of them, they've done the work and you're seeing the person with new eyes. You're like, okay, you know, you used to be an asshole. Eight months ago, you were an asshole to me. Now, all of a sudden I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, wow, you cleaned up, you know, you you got your shit together. And I'm looking at you differently. And this could be vice versa. Somebody could be saying this to you. You know, you used to be this. And now I can't believe how different you are right now. You've changed. So for some of you, you're going to connect with somebody that definitely is brand new. And there's an intense attraction or connection at the very beginning that makes you want to look a little bit deeper. Maybe move a little bit too fast. Take your time with it. You need to get to know this person. Even if there's a spirit connection soulmate connection you still need to know this person now for some of you i definitely feel like this could be a second chance to connect with somebody who has grown they're not the same person they've matured or they're looking at you like you've grown and you've matured and this starts off with those googly mushy feelings enjoy it you guys for those that are falling in love for those that are rekindling love this could be something that actually grows and becomes something substantial in your life Take your time. Make sure that it's going the way you want. Don't try to rush it. Card number four. Speak up. Now, for some of you, it's because you've been holding your tongue. You've been holding your emotions. Maybe if it, if it goes in with the love cards and with these other cards, if we read it as a whole, this could meeting, be meeting somebody that you have a spiritual connection with, a mental connection with, physical and you may be hiding your feelings. Maybe you're a little bit vulnerable. You don't want to put yourself out there. Express yourself is what spirit is saying, especially if this is something that you feel has the potential to grow. We all get scared when it comes to love because nobody wants to be that first person to go, I love you. And then you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. You're like, okay, son of a bitch, you, you say it, say it back, some, do something. So for some people, I feel like they're holding their feelings. They don't want to express themselves because they don't want to come out first or they don't want to look like a fool. They don't want to be rejected. But Spirit is saying if you're really feeling something towards this person and the vibes are there, speak up. Say something. Now, for some of you, I feel like this is really being taken advantage of by some people in your life. This could be friends. This could be family. This could be even co-workers. But I feel like you're letting people overrun you. Or overwhelm you and you're not saying anything you're not being really really assertive in vocalizing your discomfort or your your um and i guess it would be discomfort because i'm getting awkwardness and people not saying what they need to say and they're they're holding it in they go home and eat ice cream or eat comfort food and then they get upset it, it feels like a cycle if you're dealing with somebody that is overwhelming you or trying to dominate you, then you're going to have to assert yourself to get the upper hand on this because you won't feel better until you speak your mind. So for some of you, I definitely feel like if you're holding things back, it's physically making you sick. There's stress levels that are going up. You're probably eating the wrong foods or you're overeating because you're internalizing your emotions. You're not saying what you need to say. If there's somebody that you really need to be vocal with and you need to express yourself, do it. And especially if even if this is a love relationship, they're not going to know. People, I mean, a lot of people think, well, telepathy, you can read my mind. Not everybody has that ability. So don't assume that. If there's something that you are not happy about, express your your, your feelings on it. If it's something that you need to, to really say, you need to go ahead and get it out. Or else it's going to make you physically sick. Card number five, look at all that money flying around. If somebody opens the window, it's going out the window. It's getting caught in the ceiling fan. I mean, it's just all over the place. There's no structure with this money. Some of you, you're not managing your money right. You're not budgeting your money. The money's going out faster than what is coming in. There's money coming in, but the money is just, it's being not allocated to the right resources is what I see. For some of you, it's almost like you're getting so frustrated because you feel like, okay, something is holding me back. I have obstacles. Somebody's working against me. They're working against my money. And it could be just you. It honestly could just be you. I'm going to clarify, but I feel like for some of you, you're really just mismanaging your money. 
especially if you went on vacations or you spent a lot of money this summer and now, you know, back to school is about to kick your ass because you feel like, damn, I should have put, you know, a hundred dollars to the side. I feel like for some of you, definitely you're in between a rock and a hard place when it comes to your finances. Now, I do hear that for some of you, definitely this is temporary. It's going to get back um, and, and grow. But I do feel that it is something that is really something that needs to be managed. You're really going to have to put some effort into it as far as planning your money out. Spirit, clarify this money loss for me, please. Clarify money loss for me. What is going on with it? Okay. For some of you, you're changing a job. You're doing a different job change, so there's a dip in your money. You may need money to move somewhere. You may have some type of dip in your income before it comes back up because I feel for some people, it's like, oh my God, you know, my check, this next check is not going to be good. You know, I got back to school. I got bills to pay. The money's not there. Now, Spirit is showing that you're going to get back on the upswing with it. Definitely with money. Some of you are just feeling stuck. You're overly concentrated on the finances. Um, a lot of times when you watch your money too closely, it doesn't move. Because there's a lot of anxiety, the, the energy that you're putting into it is almost like I'm watching the dollar. It's my last $5 in the bank. I got to keep watching it. I got to keep watching it. And nothing happens. No money comes in. None of money goes out. So for some of you, it definitely is um, your energy is choking up your money. You got to spend sometimes money to get money to flow. I know a lot of people don't understand it, but you got to. If Even if it's a dollar and you got $2, you need to spend a dollar to get some more to let the universe know I trust that the money's coming. Now, I do feel like for some of y'all, like I say, it's a job change. Spirit, clarify any other, any other cards about this money situation. Any other cards, Spirit. Okay. Some of y'all are self-employed and you're maybe in some cycle where the money is dipping. It's going to come back up. Showing that the ancestors are working with you. They're not going to let you live under a bridge. I know for some people this may be a possibility where there's like I'm losing my place or I'm losing things. But the ancestors are showing in the card. They're saying they're watching your money. They're bringing opportunities in. So for some of you that are really, really stressing, you're going to have to get on to the point where you manage your money a little bit better. Pray to your ancestors. Ask them for their help. Ask for guidance. Money problems. Budget. Your budget is off. So a lot with these cards, a lot of you are dealing with money problems and there's an obsession with the money. So be really, really careful about the energy that you're putting into your money because money does have its own energy. If you're scared, if you're, if you're not taking care of it, if you're abusing it, you're going to have issues with it. But it is showing for the most part there's an upswing that is coming in with finances. Now, if it's right next to the speak your mind card or speak up card, for some of you, you could be with a partner who's spending money, more money than what you're making. And you may have to have a conversation with this person to say, look, you know, we got $500 in the bank. You can't go to Walmart every day. You cannot do it. We're going to be broke at the end of the week. Y'all know y'all go in there for that Walmart run and it's $80 one day, $60 the next day, $100 after that. And before you know it, you got $2.50 in your bank account. So for some of you, this is either you dealing with somebody within your, your family where you're like, okay, look, we don't have this money for you to keep spending it, and I, we need to talk about it. Don't be afraid. Don't let somebody put you in the poorhouse because you can't say something. If you cannot speak about it, you may need to go ahead and switch accounts, especially if you have a joint account, because I feel for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who's overspending, and the other person is just sitting there worried. They're not doing anything to stop it, though. They're not speaking about it. They're not locking the money up or anything like that. So if you're in this situation, you have to put action or you are going to lose money. Now, final card, strength. Right next to the money card, especially with money loss, strength card is showing that you are going to get back on track. You're strong enough. The money's going to be there. It's not going to break you down. But it looks like you may need all your strength to get your money to come back up or deal with somebody who is spending the money too much. It's showing that you're going to be fine. It's going to work out in your favor. There is victory. Every time I see the sprint card at the end of a spread, it's showing me that you're going to come out on top, especially with the way this line is looking. It's like they're determined. They're not going to be in a situation they don't want to be in. So for some of you, you are going to get your money management up. You're going to work on your budget. If you're with somebody who's spending too much money, 
you're going to go ahead and say what you need to say or you're going to put a stop to it if you're not dealing with money problems and the strength card is your final card card number six this is showing that whatever the situation is you've been going through you're going to come out on top it challenged you it caused you to have to be a little bit stronger it caused you to have to be a little bit more aggressive but it is showing that the final outcome is that you are standing on top you feel strong enough you're coming out the the, the end of the tunnel in a very powerful way so if you've been feeling a little bit weak and i know with a lot of these planets a lot of people have just been having these issues it's showing that by the end of this week you should be feeling stronger you should be feeling more empowered you should feel you should be feeling victorious because you're not going to be dealing with a lot of bullshit that maybe you were dealing with last week or even at the beginning of this week so please definitely understand that a lot of the situations are temporary and that they're going to do an upswing, especially when it comes to your money, especially when it comes to you dealing with a difficult situation. If you have to go down, the wheel of fortune says you always got to come back up. All right, you guys, I hope this helps. Have a beautiful day. Hopefully the planets will treat us better this week. And I love you guys. Mwah.